This is the NFL on EA Sports, and we are in the Pacific Northwest at Century Link Field in Seattle, Washington. This crowd, as we've come to expect in recent years, as loud as any in the NFL, and they get even louder when their Seahawks are introduced. We're ready for football as the Seahawks get set to do battle with the Tennessee Titans. The Florida Atlantic man, Greg Joseph, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Seattle. That's fielded in the end zone. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. Right there, 54 Mike. Left, left, left. This is the Oklahoma State alum, Chris Carson. It's a loss of four on that first play, and it's second down. Came out in a power set, but that only served to put more men in the box. And guess what? If you're going to do that, you've got to win up front, right? Your offensive guys have got to beat the defenders. They lost all leverage on that play. Throwing on second and 14. Wilson, that one going to be complete to David Moore. Well, he ran free there after the catch as that winds up going for 38. Brandon, we've both been around the game long enough that we know that in pregame, defenses are pretty amped up, aren't they? I mean, they're pounding lockers, and they can't wait to get out there. But when you hit them with some big pass plays early, it takes a starch right out of them. On first down, Carson. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And it'll bring up a second and 13. Check right, check right. You go tight. You got tight. Ankle, ankle. Check safety, check safety. They run it with Carson. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. But that's just running the ball 101 because too much east-west, not enough north-south. Got to get upfield, don't you? They just kept stringing him out, stringing him out. Before he knew it, he had hit the sideline. The run hasn't worked the last couple of plays. Now it's third and 14. From midfield now, here's Wilson. He lets it fly for Lockett. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. This is going to be a good one-on-one -on -one battle to watch. Both of these guys play the game at the highest level. Both of them are terrific competitors. They play the game with great athleticism and smarts as well. And in this early round, the defense wins. Here's Wilson. Open man is Metcalf. He's got it. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So not only do they convert on fourth, but they pick up 22 yards in the process. First and 10 at the 27 yard line. What? Move the team! Right there in the middle, 55. Watch the screen! Pass! Kill a set, set, set! Kill, kill! Get it, get it, get it. Now Wilson on first down. This one into the hands of Metcalf. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. To throw again is Wilson. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 12-yard line. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. They'll run on first down. It's Carson. 
And he goes backwards here, losing yardage back to the 16. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. This has been a good march down the field, but now they're stuck looking at a second and 14. To throw is Wilson. That is caught inside the five. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. A good pickup there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. So play number 10 now coming. It's been a long opening drive, but this is third down. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage of way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. So the snap will come from the three, but remember, they don't need the touchdown. They can get the first down if they get a yard, and the ball gets to the two. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. Dancing to his left. He, and he's going to score. It's a Seahawk touchdown. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Seahawks take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. Quite the drive there to get things started. They took up the bulk of the first quarter, and they end up in the end zone. And I love your last point. Ended up in the end zone. Because a lot of teams like those long drives, especially to keep their offense off the field, right? Keep the ball away from them. But they finished it with a touchdown. That's the exclamation point. Now flip it over defensively. They've got to slow that down somehow, right? Maybe they need to be a little more aggressive. Maybe a few more pressures towards the quarterback. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. A run there on first down going nowhere as he stopped right at the 25. The tackle made by K.J. Wright. They had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. First down, Titans, gain of 12. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll run with Henry. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. On second down, here's Henry. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. They follow up the gain of five by only getting one there on second down. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Set, ready? 90, Wolf. 54. You ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing. Five, five. Check, check. Check right, 54. Right, 54. Oh, it. Now it's Tannehill. The open man is Smith. He's at the 30, the 20. Touchdown, Titans. 
Jonu Smith, 58 yards, as they are now on the board here in the first half. Well, that's pretty impressive, Charles. It's one thing to be an elite speed wide receiver and have all that yards after the catch into the end zone, but from your tight end? Yeah, you don't get that very often. What you're describing is more like a Tyreek Hill, a Devontae Adams, and Antonio Brown. You're not talking about a guy that lines up or can line up in line and look like an extra tackle on running plays. He took that bad boy downfield just like he was a scat back. Before the game, he told me, I'm going to have a zinger or two today. And I was like, a zinger or two? I guess that's a zinger, right? That's a zinger. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have stayed where he was as he'll only get back to the 16-yard line. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. Last time they were out here, they had the benefit of good field position, led to a touchdown. This time, they're going to have to work for it. They are. But well, this is taken in. It's complete. 30. 10. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. DK Metcalf, 84 yards. And the Seahawks have taken the lead. That's a heck of a response to regain the lead after we had seen the touchdown to tie the game. I would say what we just saw there was a great amount of poise because typically when teams tie the game up, it's a little bit of a, how would you say, you kind of kind of take a step back and have to get yourself regrouped. They regrouped in a hurry, didn't they? They attacked back after they'd been tied. And in a big way, that was a statement long touchdown. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and 10. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. Space to maneuver at the 40. And all the way up to the 45-yard line. An ideal beginning of the drive there is they'll get 20 at a first down. I know that play went to the left side, and that's what it was designed to do, an outside handoff there. But how about the whole offensive line being involved? Seal the left side where the play was going, where they call play side. But how about on the back side? Just taking care of business to make sure no one can get there and disrupt it. Is the biggest key the left tackle? Without a doubt. Control that edge. Get out there. You want that left tackle, or if you bring your tight end over there, either way, control the edge of the line of scrimmage, you've got a chance to rumble. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Tannehill now to throw. And he hits the running back, Deion Lewis. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end. But running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. A second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14 to seven. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Mike Vrabel saw him on the sideline. He didn't even hesitate. They will go for it on fourth. They snap it to Tannehill. He gets it to Brown. Good play. That pickup goes for 25. What a flip of the script from fourth down to first. I remember in pregame when we were talking to him on the field and he took his gloves off and showed us his fingers. A few misshapen ones in there, and now we know why, trying to catch those types of bullets. That was a dart. Yeah, he... 
taking it right down Broadway. And he will score. Touchdown, Titans. A 24-yard touchdown as they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. Extra point put through by Suckup. And we've got a tie game here in a back and forth first half. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. Tie ball game, still a little more than a minute to go in the half. The question, can they put something together here, try to take that lead into intermission? I would have to think that would be the goal for sure. I don't think you sit on anything here. Here's your opportunity. Push it downfield. As you mentioned, it's a tie game. So minus a disaster on your part, you've got that in your back pocket. Go ahead and try and get some points and feel great going into the half. Now that's one they hate. The ball's got to come all the way back. So that's an explosive play, a really explosive play that gets wiped out, and they have to start over after the penalty. So the illegal forward pass also costs them a down, and now it's second and long. From the shotgun, Wilson. He's going to look deep down the field. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the USC man, Adore Jackson. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. Here's a run on first down that doesn't accomplish anything. In fact, he's going to be tackled behind the line for a loss of one. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. And nothing but daylight ahead. 20. And he is down deep into Seattle territory. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. And he's got it. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Back-to-back -back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. Trying to punch it in with Henry. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. Ready, ready. They come out here in the eye. From back at the four, here's second and goal. They'll give Henry another shot. And he will take this one in for a Titans touchdown. Derrick Henry as the first half is winding.